Perfect, that's nice and dry now. Now ready to move on to the next stage, which is we're gonna put a little bit of highlight onto the, these cottages here with the white. You know this technique that I have, whether we use the, um, the light permanent blue, or in this case, it's a bit of light aqua green with the white to get the base color. So we're gonna go a little bit of white, I'll show you, which we'll be using for something else. So I have it in this area on my fantastically messy palette, as you can see with this brush, twisting it again to get a finer point. A little bit of water maybe, just to loosen it up a bit. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for the front area of the house to get a lovely sense of light coming in. Let's see what happens as soon as I put this on. Chimney as well, chimney as well. And just leave a little bit of the darker tone at the edge of that, at the edge of that gable end there, okay? Can you see that? Yeah, we're doing that well. And then we're coming across here underneath, underneath the roof, because there's a lovely bright color hitting the front of these. Okay, um, well it's light actually. You can see the way it brings it alive now. We're gonna go in there nice and uh, uneven at the bottom because it's the grasses, okay? Which will be coming up again with those grasses. So don't worry about that. Um, the in-between area there, we're gonna bring that down a little bit there. The little wall there in between uh, the large cottage and the little shed or whatever is in the shadow. So we're leaving it that tone, okay? And what we do then is we move on to this guy here. I'm just gonna move this over a little bit and I'm supporting my hand now on the canvas because the canvas is dry. And this is all gonna be a much lighter area here. Okay, and you'll see the effect it gives now. Okay, all these little buildings are quite old. So don't worry about them. You don't need straight lines or architecturally perfect uh, buildings, you know. They're hickety bockety rickety. So they want that, you want that feel to them. Okay, a little bit of white in this area here over it. And this one here to give a sense of maybe the light is just touching off, off those little areas there, okay. And that light goes all the way through that. Bring it down uneven at the bottom. And we will need to uh, reinforce this again at another stage. But can you see the way it's, it's coming alive now, the building? It's becoming 3D. That's a little trick, you know, that I developed from my classes in, in the landscape. It was not if it's other people do it as well, but it's just putting on a base color first, then adding the highlight with this. And the base color for these little uh, landscapes, it changes, you know, it changes when you put in on each one. Okay, we have that. Now our next step is, because we have the white here, remember bright aqua green? Well, now we're going for another level of it, another tone, okay? So in order to get that, we're gonna mix it in with the white, okay? Too bright, because we need a few different tones of this. Probably there was a little bit too much white there. I should have mixed the other way around, but I can come back with more of the aqua green in it. Okay, can you see that? And we wanna get this tone here lighter than the original, you know, which is here. Now, I think we'll go with that. I think that's fine to go with. And we're gonna start adding our strokes again, directional, our lovely Van Gogh strokes, to the right again. Using my hand again, just to show you, we're gonna come up, because the, the light is hitting uh, these little areas of the grass again, they're gonna come up in front here, like so, coming down individually but all directional, you know? Just to, I'm just getting this line first across the baseline here, okay? And we'll be bringing up the white on the buildings to make them stand out more. Because as you know, it's all about adding and subtracting in painting, adding color, taking away color, brightening it, darkening it. That's what I mean by adding and subtracting. It's nothing to do with maths. Okay, and we're going to cross here. We're leaving our little gap there for that little pathway which could lead either to a back entrance or a front door or something exciting, a little, as I said, a vegetable patch or maybe a crock of gold, you never know. Okay, coming all the way across just to get this in first before we start letting loose with these tones. Okay, coming in here again, going across around here, lovely. And you know, you can, you're doing your own interpretation of this. I'm just guiding you through a possible reference work, you know, that you, <coughs> you can use. Okay, we have our nice little baseline there underneath the trees and the houses. So what we're gonna do then is, we're gonna start going higgledy-piggledy, you know? Around like this, bring it down, okay? 
all the way, not all the way down, but I'll show you now where to start because you know the routine that we do when we do these type of grasses, which really give a fantastic sense of movement to it and a sense of light. Okay, going out to the edge here, really, uh, of our little pathway, which I'll show you now what to do with that. Coming down here, can you see my strokes? Like I'm leaning on the brush now to get a nice loose stroke. I'm not actually painting it on, I'm dabbing it on with this round, okay? With this number three round brush. Okay, can you see that effect? And then the same on this side, going in there, getting lovely loose movement again, coming back to load up the brush, you know, have a, have a pretty uh, good amount of, of color on it with this type of stroke. You, know, you, you can't put a little bit on the brush with this type of stroke because you just keep, each stroke will just use up what you have on it. But can you see this, the dimension you're getting in the three dimensional now, you're getting different colors coming through some of the manganese coming through here and here as well complementing the the cobalt blue and the turquoise that's what i was saying it, it, the three of them have to go together to get the actual um, benefit of it okay nice movement there coming down there as far as that then we don't really need to go any further than that for the moment don't need to go maybe a little further down here a little further down here yeah just to get to balance up here on the other side yeah and those big strokes wider gaps between them wider gaps because you want lots of movement in it okay there you go into that there into that there a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there okay any 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 lines that that appear too regular and it make sure you make them more irregular by adding a few little dots here and there that's what i'm just looking at glancing over quite quickly if i see any dot um, strokes that are are too regular but that's and that's where you're either subtracting or adding going back in with your turquoise or with the light turquoise now can you see that idea there lovely isn't it really nice now what we're going to do then is i'm going to show you what to do with the pad because we want to lighten up the path a little bit what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our light turquoise as it is here aqua green as they call it and we're going to water it down a bit we don't want it full on tone we want it transparent okay put that there get a nice transparent tone and then we're going to start adding a few little transparent strokes within the pathway uh just to get that you know to busy it up a bit just a few little transparent strokes which will take that um leave the blueness in it but tone it down a little bit you know because we want to get a perspective into this it wouldn't be blue all the way back with the cobalt blue all the way back you know to get lighter going off into the distance and you see there's hardly anything on my brush but this is the exact opposite of what we did over here this is just a little wash just drying it down there it's almost scumbling it over over the color underneath so that the other color through that that's what scumbling is you use another color over another a deeper color and you let the two of them combine the other color comes through now can you see that idea the way it's fading off into the distance yeah that's what I meant about we were going to do that with the path eventually and then a few little strokes down here okay a few little strokes just one or two strokes down here to bring us into that okay perfect that's all we need there then we're going to go back to our small square okay and we're going to pick up some of our lovely portrait pink yippee I love portrait pink and water it down a little bit not too much just have that there have it nice and watered down and then we're going to just start adding a few little dabs up here like this. See the way I'm just doing a few dabs, different like dabs like that. Okay, clean off the brush and then just gently start moving out these dabs, blending them into the, into the pink behind. That one goes up there, could be connected up like that. Okay, we want these off in the distance, these little cloud formations as they're going to be. And the same here with this last one up here, maybe a little more pink onto that just to make it a little more connected up to that, okay? That other one, and it's just little wispy clouds in the distance, you know, that are going to make another little statement in the sky, okay? Maybe a bit more on this side, give a bit more to the composition as if it's coming, the wind is going that way, so maybe we get the effect of a larger cloud here and then they disappear into the smaller wispy clouds as they're broken up by the wind okay can you see that idea simple as that okay no need to get into an artistic angst we just want this lovely smooth 
uh, formation. I'm just looking at it, that's why I stopped talking, because I think it's really nice now. Now what we're going to have to do is again, we're going to have to stop and ride. But you'll probably do the same. And look, while you're doing it, maybe this time, have a coffee break. Enjoy yourself, a glass of wine. Talk to you soon.